Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Old Sol Mio, E chord. F sharp minor. B7. To an E chord. E. F sharp minor. E. B7. B7 E A minor Back to E B7 To an E That's it. Okay, so let's go over the chords. You need an E chord. 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 1st fret. That's your E chord. F sharp minor, you're going to bar the whole 2nd fret. And uh, you really only have to grab the 5th uh, the, the string 4th fret. Uh, you'll see me do that sometimes. Uh, you could add your pinky on the 4th string 4th fret. But the arpeggio that I'm doing with my right hand, I kind of missed that. So uh, it ends up being an F sharp minor 7. But it doesn't matter either way. Uh, B7, 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 1st fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret, 1st string, 2nd fret, that's my B7 chord, and then we need an A minor, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. So it's only 4 chords, not a big deal, um, and it works out really well in this key on the guitar. Alright, so we got an E chord, there is a pattern to it if you look closely enough. Um, we got an E chord, what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm going to um, hold down the E chord and I'm going to do two patterns on an E and what I do is I use my thumb on the 6th string and then on the 5th string and then I use my three fingers my first finger is on the 3rd string my middle is on the 2nd my ring is on the 1st and I hit I pluck them all at the same time so just like that so thumb, thumb fingers and then I go back to the thumb for the 5th string on the E chord anyway. So it's like... And that's my pattern for most of the song. The thumb is going to change, uh, I'm sure, at some point. But but the fingers, uh, I believe, stay on... They stay consistent the whole time. Those three fingers are on the top three strings and they just hit. That's consistent. So, so you got your E chord twice. Now when I go to the F sharp minor, um, I'm going to do the same exact thing. So once I got the chord down, my right hand stays the same. Six, five, strum, five, if you want to think of it that way, even though I'm not strumming. All right, then when I go to the, and I do that twice, and on the B7 chord it does change. So all I do is I put my thumb on the fifth string now, and I go fifth string, fourth string, chord, back to the fourth string. So it's... And I do that twice. Then I go back to the E chord and do it twice. So that's your uh, that's your first line. So let me go over that again. So E twice. F sharp minor twice. B seven twice. Then E twice. Stay on the E for the next line twice. F sharp minor again twice. E once, B one, B seven once, and then E. And what I did there on that E chord is I went, uh, the, I did the pattern, and then on the next measure I just hit the sixth string and I stopped the sound. So I take the thumb and I hit it and I put it right back on to stop the sound and then we take a brief rest and then we're back into the next line is E twice. F sharp minor, twice, so this is exactly like the first line, B7, and then E twice. And that's, that, the third line in the song is exactly like the first line, so you can grab that and memorize it if that's how you do things. 
uh, the first and third line in the song are exactly the same. All right, the last line in the song is the nice one where they go to the A minor. And what I do on the A minor, uh, I, we went over the chord, yes. So uh, I'm going to do it like I did the B7. I'm going to go fifth string, fourth string, chord, back to the fourth string. So do that twice, then the E chord twice, and then the B7 twice, and then the E once, and then I hit that last note, the sixth string again, and I stop the sound. Okay, so that's what my right hand does. And uh, let me play through the whole song. Now that you understand, you know, the, the chords, I'll yell them out and, um, and do the thing. So here we go. Whole thing. E chord. Oh, I think there's some pickup notes like, Oh, sol, a mio. That's an E to an F sharp minor. B7. Back to E. Stay on the E chord. F sharp minor and then the E chord to the B7 and then the E chord da da de da E to the F sharp minor to a B7 back to the E A minor the E chord, da da, B7, back to E, and then stop the song. And that's it. It just keeps repeating that pattern for the whole song. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, play more guitars.